What's good, y'all boys, man? I'm back with another reaction. This time we got the best Larry Bird versus Michael Jordan story ever told. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people think that Larry Bird is better than Michael Jordan. That's not that's not a rare statement. You know what I'm saying? That's not a rare thing that somebody would say. This is a common theme, you feel me? So we gotta watch this. We gotta see what it's talking about. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Is there any Larry Larry Bird fans out there that think that Larry is better than Michael Jordan? Because I already know how my Michael Jordan fans get. Y'all going to tell me that Michael Jordan is 10 times better than Larry Bird. I already know how this get. But there's a lot of facts. There's a lot of things that people could back up. Larry could be better than Michael. I don't know. Y'all going to have to tell me. I still think Michael's the GOAT. Larry is crazy. He might be top three. Larry might be top three. I might put Larry over LeBron. You feel me? I got respect for him. But no, we finna get straight into the video. Hit that like and sub. Hey, man, 10K subs on the way. If y'all new here... Hit that sub button for me, real deal, man. Like the video, drop a comment. Let me know what else y'all want to see. But now let's get straight into it. As you can see, we got James Worthy on the screen. Already finna say something. Let's see what he's talking about. I'm going to let y'all listen, real deal. So I ain't going to talk that much. But just make sure y'all show love and hit that like and sub button. Let's get it. Both Michael Drew. Hold on, my bad. Let me connect my uh. Let me connect my uh my AirPods real quick. I bet. Jordan and Larry Bird said... I'd much rather play against Michael Jordan than Larry Bird. Mm. Jordan made you look slow, but Bird made you look stupid. Look, I'm not here to convince you that Larry Bird is better than Michael Jordan. I'll just present to you the facts mm. and let the NBA legends who actually played against both of them tell you what they think. People always ask me, who's the hardest player I've ever had to guard? And there was Michael Jordan, George Gervin, the late, great Mike Mitchell. I mean, so many players. I always say Larry Bird. And I say this for the reason, because when Michael passed the basketball, he kind of hung on his shorts and he sit off to the side. With Larry, when he passed the basketball is when he became more dangerous. He was either setting a pick, coming off a pick, catching the ball, passing the ball. So he was the one you always had to stay attentive to the mm -hmm. whole 24 seconds of that offensive play for the Celtics. And, you know, oh, he's going to get an offensive rebound. He was going to do something to help his team uh, have the best chance of scoring at that point. So I always say as him, he didn't need the basketball to affect the game. To the Bro. untrained. I know this has nothing to do with anything, but you just you just see how he said Larry Bird, like once he passed the ball, he's always doing something else. He's always moving, setting screens, doing all that. Bro, just imagine if these people had to guard like Steph Curry, bro. Steph Curry don't stop running, literally does not stop running like at all, like never stops running. Just imagine, bro. But no, nah, yeah, definitely. I see what they mean, though. Like when you got somebody that passes the ball and then they just stand there, they're easier to guard. I get that part. For sure. I, Michael Jordan, was light years better than Larry Bird simply because his scoring numbers were better. But in actuality, it was much closer than that because Bird affected the game in so many ways. Mm. I saw Larry Bird one night in Phoenix. They were losing big time at the half. And they come out in the third quarter and Larry did not take a shot, but dominated the game. He had seven assists in the third quarter and they came back and won the game. He could affect the game without taking a shot. Who else can you say that about to nah, that that's degree? Tough, Nobody. Sure. Michael could never do that. Never. Michael had right. to have the ball. Here's a 1986 magazine on the NBA. How do y'all feel about that? Do y'all think that's like, do y'all think that has a, that has a, um, a big part in saying who's, who's the better player? Because like when you say better player, we ain't just talking about scoring. Or we talking about scoring in defense. That's only two parts of the game. There's so many parts of the game. So y'all got to really think, like, when you say who the best player, y'all got to look at every perspective of the game, you feel me? And they're basically, what they're trying to say with the story they saying for Larry Bird is that, like, he got all the, you know what I'm saying? He impact the game without scoring. He impact the game other than just uh, phenomenal defense. He impacts the game by passing, you know what I'm saying, controlling the tempo, um, 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 setting screens you know what i'm saying rebounding all this you feel me and i'm not saying michael jordan don't do that but i'm saying if you look at it like that how do y'all feel about this you feel me is it is it is it is it still all michael jordan or or you you starting to feel that larry bird might be better than michael jordan what you what you thinking let me know in the comments give me y'all point of view for real and remember this is a league with michael jordan 
Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Charles Barkley, Isaiah Thomas, Hakeem Olajuwon, Moses Malone, and Dr. J. And in a league with all of these all-time great players, everyone agreed that Larry Bird was the best. Because in 1984, Mm. 1985, and 1986, Larry Bird won MVP back to back to back. And in the 1986 playoffs, Larry Bird finally faced Michael Jordan head to head. And in game one, Michael dropped a spectacular 49 points. But Larry Bird had an all around game with 30 points, eight assists, six rebounds, and three steals to lead the Celtics to a victory. I ain't gonna lie. I would rather have the Larry stats because I won the game, bro. Yeah, dropping 49 is tough, but winning the game and having a crazy stat line like that, almost a 30-point triple-double, I'm taking that every time. And we ain't going to skip past the fact that he got three MVPs back-to-back-to-back. That's low-key crazy. That is low-key crazy. I know somebody, I know players done that before. I don't really know who. But just imagine back-to-back-to-back MVPs with Michael Jordan. Hakeem Olajuwon, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Isaiah Autumn, you feel me? Back to back to back. No, that's crazy, bro. You feel me? That's that's crazy. Game two, MJ had a revelation. And this is game two of the best of five first round action. And the Celtics will try to make it two in a row over the Bulls. Yeah, we really have to play a complete basketball game. I, I don't think one. This, don't, this, this is way off topic, but who logo better? Y'all mess with the, y'all mess with the Chicago Bulls logo or, or the Boston Celtics logo? Y'all let me know. Try to make it two in a row over the Bulls. Yeah, we really have to play a complete basketball game. I, I don't think one man can beat the Boston Celtics. I don't think one man can beat the Boston Celtics. But he sure did try because Jordan turned on goaltending. Goaltending. He sure Gold did try because Jordan Gold turned tending. on God mode and broke the record for the most points ever scored in a playoff game. In the first half of the game against the Celtics Thursday, Jordan trying to fake Bird can't do it. Oh, that's nasty. The jumper, but I, Bird His played pretty well defensively against Jordan. I know we started Dennis Johnson out on him, and then we went with uh, Danny Ainge, myself, uh, with uh, then Bill yeah. Walton, and we was trying to run him to help all the time, but he had his outside shot going so well that he really didn't need to penetrate that much. Jordan hits it, 56 for Jordan, and that ties the Chicago Bulls all-time leader. 56? With eight on the clock. Jordan oh. ties the game. Oh, boy. Bro, he had more points, points than I had in my bank account. Record. He had oh, more points. Boy. The Jordan. number amount of points he had is more than the amount of money I had in my bank account. I've never seen it before, and I had never seen it after. That wasn't Michael Jordan out there. It was God disguised as Michael Jordan. But Larry Bird left with the most important statistic of all, the W. Ten on the clock. He still ain't winning. Hey, you heard what he said. One man can't beat the Celtics. He was right. See, Michael Jordan got game, bro. He's smart. That's why I know about him, bro. He knows what he's talking about. His teammates just let him down for real. He tried to give it his all. He tried to give it his all, and they just didn't help him. Bird, pick and roll, Paris. Victory for the Boston Celtics to take a two to nothing lead. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, the shorts back then were low key crazy short. Like these, these is like nowadays, like you can't even, you feel me? Like what? These shorts right here is so damn small, bro. That like, I don't know how they did it, bro. Like I need mine at least knees length. You feel me? Nah, like right here. You see where my mouse is at? I need it at least like right there, right above the kneecap. Because, like, when they get past the kneecap, it's hard to do it between the legs because the ball be getting caught on the material. But when you got them up here, though, gosh, dang. Boys be tight like, bro. Damn. Going their best of five. That's a high scoring game. Michael Jordan didn't beat Larry Bird. You showed Michael Jordan going between his legs one time in the highlights. 
you know, against Larry Bird. And that was the game he got 63. That's when he dropped 63 on Bird. My fault. Yeah. yeah. But That's if memory serves me correct, they got he lost. swept. No, not, not lost. They got yes. swept. Okay. Larry swept? Larry swept them? Nah, that's a bad look. That's true. Even though he dropped 63, we stepped all in his ass, did we not? <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> Larry Bird went on to win his third championship that year. And the following year, when Larry faced MJ in the playoffs, it happened again. Side. Larry Bird against Banks, rubs him around a Perry screen, drives it down the lane and lays it in with a right hand. Michael Jordan with 30 points in this game, so he was 30 or better in all three playoff games. Bird's got 31 in the game and 14 in the fourth quarter. Bullseye. Boston has kept it in good hands in the fourth quarter. It's What's been that? Bird. Is that blood? Bullseye. Bro, it like a fucking shark attacked them, bro. Damn, he out here busting y'all eyes that bad. It was like y'all y'all cutting them up with blades. Nah, bro, sweeping Michael Jordan back to back years is low key crazy. I don't know if they swept him this time, but I'm just saying, sweeping Michael Jordan back to back years is low key crazy, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. Austin has kept it in good hands in the fourth quarter. It's been Bird, and that's about it. Final score in Chicago Stadium. The Boston Celtics sweep the Bulls out 105 to 94. What? Too much Celtic talent, too much Celtic experience for a Bulls team lacking in both areas. Yes, Larry Bird in back to back years swept my No, nah, that's crazy. In the playoffs. That's crazy. So How do y'all feel about Jordan that, bro? Is the How do y'all feel about Michael Jordan getting swept by Larry? Dar molecule bird. How do y'all feel about that, bro? Y'all let me know in the comments, bro. I need to hear y'all thoughts on that right now. All my OGs, all my old heads, all my all my Michael Jordan lovers, all my faithful Michael Jordan fans. Let me know how y'all feel about Larry Bird sweeping Michael Jordan two times and what is that, bro? Cause that's low key crazy, bro. That's low key crazy, bro. Greatest of all time. But Michael Jordan never beat Larry Bird. Then what does that make Larry Bird? Now, to be fair, at that point, Michael Jordan didn't have his best teammate ever, Scottie Pippen, yet. When Scottie Pippen arrived, the battles were closer and more intense. And later in the video, I'll let you see exactly what happened when Larry Bird faced a prime Michael Jordan and Scottie Boy, Pippen. Is nasty. Because Larry Bird did something so miraculously impressive. No other man in the history of basketball can say they've done. Mm. But after Bird swept Jordan back to back years in the playoffs, that very next year in 1988, Michael Jordan had statistically the best season ever mm. where he won the scoring title at Damn. 35 points per game, the steals title, Damn. the MVP, the Damn. defensive player of the year, Damn. the all-star game MVP, Damn. and the dunk contest. Damn. He faced Larry Bird four times that year, and this is how it went. Game one, tough battle, Bird wins. Game two. MJ has a historic 50-point game mm. to win by 10. Game three, Larry's revenge. After that previous loss, I'm sure Larry Bird had that rematch circled on his calendar because he ended up with 33, Shit. 8, and 7 and blew MJ out by 30 ball. points. Game four, MJ had an impressive performance with 39 points and 8 assists. Damn, Larry had 44 and 10? 44 and 10? Michael had 39 and 8. Don't get me wrong. Filled up the stat sheet. Okay, okay, but them niggas got... Okay. But Larry Legend had 44 points and 10 rebounds. But most importantly, a win versus Michael hey, Jordan. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Best. This dude right here with this little mustache... He's nice. He's like that, bro. 
He had an unforgettable run, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I can say this one thing, and I know a lot of y'all can agree with me. A lot of y'all still watching this video. Man, make sure y'all like and subscribe. But, bro, a lot of y'all can agree that Larry Bird's name will never be forgotten, bro. Along with Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan and Larry Bird, their names will never be forgotten, bro. It will always be a part of basketball. Like, the things that they done, the things that they do, the way that they play, it's just so, like, it's just so, like, perfect. Like, bro, they're going to be household names forever and ever and ever for the next hundred years. My motherfucking grandkid, his grandkid, and that nigga grandkid all going to know him. And I'm going to make sure to tell him. You feel me? Season ever. And though Michael Jordan didn't face Bird again that year in the playoffs, Jordan did face Isaiah Thomas in the Detroit Pistons. And I'll let Isaiah Thomas tell you exactly how he recalls that year and the rest of the 80s. So Michael Jordan in the 80s, the best year that he had was he was the MVP of the league and the defensive player of the year. I believe that was in 88. Yes. We, 88. Beat, them four, we beat them four to one. Mm. I'm going to say that again. Four to one. They won one May game. May I respond? And he never beat Larry Bird. He never beat Magic and Kareem. He never won. And all I'm saying is in the 80s, what I remember in the 80s, it was Philadelphia mm -hmm. with Dr. J, Magic, yep. Kareem, Bert, Michael Jordan. He he was a non-factor. Mm. A non how do y'all feel about that? Do y'all think Isaiah Thomas is just hating because like it was a rivalry, rival, 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 rival. Y'all know what the fuck I'm rival, rival, rivalry, rivalry. Y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Rivalry, or he really just think Michael Jordan just not that guy. I think he just be hating, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like I get what he trying to say, bro. He don't win and all that, bro. But you gotta give him his props. What Michael Jordan did, his six NBA championships, his his crazy years, his crazy stat lines, his ability to hoop, his his, his it just his his aura. You feel me? He just got aura. Or 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 do y'all think I'm just I'm just over here glazing? Y'all think Isaiah Thomas is right? Michael Jordan not to go. What do y'all think? I just need to hear y'all opinion, bro. Y'all better blow the comments up. Make sure y'all hitting that like button because I real deal need to, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeding people. I'm feeding I'm feeding families on the street. No, I'm capping. I'm capping. I'm just trying to buy me a new setup. So make sure y'all hit that like and sub button. See, at least I kept it real. But no, let me know what y'all what, what y'all think, though. Real talk. Actor, is this your goat? Is this your but goat? Let me know. Isaiah Thomas swept MJ, mm. he did go on to beat Larry Bird in six games. And many people touted the Detroit defense for holding Larry Bird to under 20 points per game. But what many don't include in that story is that Larry Bird was noticeably injured with painful bone spurs in both feet. It's so only converse. because of injuries. For the first time in five seasons, Larry Bird would not make the NBA Finals. Starting the following year, Larry Bird had season-ending surgery on both feet after playing only six games. Damn, bro. That's them damn Converse. Bro, I wish I was born in like 1980. Nah, I'm capping. I don't, I don't, I don't wish that because then I'd be an old nigga right now. I ain't gonna lie. I like I like being 20 right now. Then I could be, you know what I'm saying? I, when I when it's that time for me to be 45 and all that, bro, it's that time. But right now, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Bro, if I was born back then, my nigga, I would have probably invented cars. I mean, not cars. Flying car. Let me, never mind. Don't, forget what I'm saying. But I would have invented a shoe for my nigga Larry so he didn't get none of that, bro. I would have had the greatest shoes ever to call the cloud. The cloud comforts, you feel me? Time The, the, the Larry clouds. Oh my, the, the Larry clouds? The cloud comfort Larry twos? The Cloud Comfort Larry 33s? The Cloud Comfort Larry 1s? Oh, that's nasty. Boy, I would have had Larry out there frying niggas. Feeling, feeling like he's stepping on clouds. Yes, my name A Cloud. They call me Cloud. You feel me? I would have had him in the Cloud Comfort Larry 1s. Y'all fuck with it. Sadly, it only got worse. 
Damn. Because that following off season, Larry Bird broke his back and was <sighs> never the same again. Damn. But even as Larry Bird's entire body betrayed him, for some reason, he always played well against Michael Jordan. Almost like he had a personal vendetta against Jordan. And I think I know why. When Michael Jordan was in college, he actually played an exhibition game against Larry Bird. Jordan and a bunch of college players, while preparing for the 1984 Olympics, faced Larry Bird and a bunch of NBA stars. The goal was to toughen the college kids up before they headed to the Olympics. So during pregame warm-ups, when Jordan chased the loose ball to the other end of the court, Larry Bird picked the ball up. But instead of handing it to Jordan, Bird kicked the ball over Jordan's head to the opposite end of the court. What? And I guess you could say Michael Jordan took that personally. Now look at my Really? Oh, so that's how you're going to play it. You're going to do this? Okay, fine. That's all I needed. That's all I needed for him to do that. And it, it became personal with me. Michael Jordan dominated that game. A young Michael Jordan actually carried a team full of college players past the prime Larry Bird and a bunch of NBA players. Mm. Michael Jordan won the battle, but Larry Bird won the war. I think Larry Bird took that loss. This might be the most legendary Larry Bird picture of all time, bro. No cap. This is the most legendary Larry Bird picture of all time. I got to take this for the thumbnail. Hold on. Let me, uh, okay. Let me, okay. Let me take this for the thumbnail. Bet. Personally, because Jordan never really got the best of Larry Bird ever again. When Larry Bird finally returned to the court after missing basically an entire season with foot surgery and a back injury, he faced prime Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen in a regular season game. The teams went back and forth. Bagley against Paxson, 10 on the shot clock. Jordan on Bird, quick feed into Jim Paxson. Sheesh, that's a dime, bro. Kale the read. Jordan steal. Scottie Pippen ahead to Jordan. Michael hey! I ain't gonna lie, Bird Michael Jordan Pippen. is the is the greatest Bird dunker of all Pippen time. One on one. Hits the fadeaway. And with 10 seconds to go, it was a tie game. The Celtics had the ball. And the Bulls put their two best defenders, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, both on Larry Bird because everyone knows who the ball is going to. And then this happened. Let's see if they wind it all the way down. You can double yet. Now you can quickly. First jumper. Good. Larry. 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 Cut two point lead. Stop it, Larry. Had to know it was going to Michael came up. Larry. Celtics lead with 3.6 seconds here. 102 to 100. A game winning shot while being double teamed by both Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Yeah, Two that's of crazy. the best defenders of all time. Somehow the word clutch doesn't even begin to describe the greatness of Larry Bird oh when the game was on the line. But maybe a quote from NBA Hall of Fame coach, executive, and former player Pat Riley can explain. In an interview when comparing Larry Bird and Michael Jordan's clutchness, Pat Riley said this iconic quote. If I had to choose a player to take a shot to save a game, I'd choose Michael Jordan. If I had to choose a player to take a shot to save my life, I'd take Larry Bird. What? As Larry Bird. That is low-key a crazy quote. If I needed a player to take a game-winning shot, I'd choose Michael Jordan. If I needed a player to take a shot to save my life, I'd choose Larry motherfucking Bird. What? Let me know in the comments who y'all would rather shoot to save y'all life. Would y'all rather have Larry Bird shoot a three to save your life? Or no. 
Okay, we're not going to say three. Would you rather have Michael Jordan shoot a game-winning fadeaway to save your life, or would you rather, rather have Larry Bird shoot a game-winning fadeaway to save your life? Let me know which person you would rather have shoot the fadeaway. You let me know in the comments right now. Don't forget to hit that like and sub button. Show love. You know what it is. Hey, man. Continue to let me know what other videos y'all want to see, bro. I told you I'm on an everyday grind to get on back. I'm not missing, bro. Y'all can all tune in. I'm back. Put them put them post notifications on right now. What is you doing? Hit the bell. Bing, bing. On his last bing, bing. legs. And Michael Jordan was starting his dynasty in 1991. Larry Bird mustered up enough strength to battle MJ again in one of the last great duels between the two. Gamble came up with the steal. Here's Bird. Yes. He was uh, by Jordan and 33. This made me want to order a Larry Bird jersey right now. I might change my number to 33. Fuck it. Or 300, 3,323. Fuck it. This battle Hang between time. two oh, all-time greats came that's down nasty. to the wire. <laughs> In overtime, it was a tie game with 0 0.4 seconds on the clock. Larry, don't the Chicago do it. Bulls. Chicago Bulls had the ball? Had the ball. Okay. Michael. Pippen. Look to throw in four tenths of a second. Michael. And here it is. Michael. 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 Yes. But it's off. Will not count. Mike Mathis said no. Did not beat the clock. Ooh, he almost had it. After Jordan's possible game winner was waved off, Larry Bird on four straight possessions in double overtime did this. Jordan. It's great to hear all these coaches talk about they're really concerned as Bird hits a little fade away. They're really concerned about the minutes building up. They want to be fresh going into the playoffs until Overtime the game. Overtime number two. Bird. Yes. Larry Bird heating it out to go in the second overtime. Bird with the fake through the foul. And hit. to go in the second overtime. Bird fires. Yes! Grant just the crowd couldn't help but chant the name of the greatest player of all time. Shook his head mm. and said, this guy's too much. And the chant of Larry. Larry. Steve Brown beat John Paxson off the pitch. Do y'all think how do y'all feel about this? Did my Michael Jordan fans, do y'all change your mind or y'all stick with Michael? My Larry fans, do y'all still believe that Larry is the GOAT? You let me know. Because y'all know how I feel. I feel like Larry deserved more credit. I don't know about the GOAT, but he definitely deserved more credit than what he got. He definitely got some credit, but he need even more credit. You know, like when the teacher give you enough credit to get an A, but she didn't give you enough credit to get an A+. Plus? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm feeling right now. The second overtime, and that will do it. Because when you really look at this shit, bro, Larry was that guy. If he didn't have all these damn injuries, bro, that's why I wish I could have created the cloud comfort Larry ones, bro. And defeated the Chicago Bulls. Cloud comfort Larry ones. The Celtics held on to win that game, but that year, Michael Jordan won his first championship versus Magic Johnson in the finals and his dynasty had officially begun. Larry and I were talking, and Michael walks in, and he says, there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> <laughs> and we both hit each other like, well, he's not lying. <laughs> Larry Bird retired after that next season, but not before he took the court with Michael Jordan one last time. Except this time, it would be on the same team in what many would call the greatest team That's ever dude. assembled. Hey, if y'all ain't watched this video, go look it up on my channel right now. 
Go look at my channel right now and go watch this video. If this video get a hundred K views, I need a hundred K subs. I need y'all really show out on this video. Real deal. Hit that like and sub button, man. Turn on post. The nineteen ninety two dream team. And rebounded by Jordan. Perez may have realized that's that may be his best opportunity to get an open look in transition. Magic with the pass that misfired. Jordan with the behind the back save. Here's Perez. Yes. That was tough. You just knew that Larry Bird was not going to miss that shot after the great save by Michael Jordan. Larry, I hear that you're retiring. Thank goodness. I'm glad. I'm tired of seeing your face. Well, a lot of <laughs> sad memories to me, but you know, I enjoyed you tremendously. I wish you a lot of luck, and I think you had a very wonderful career, even though you probably ruined a lot of my uh, successful games against the Boston Celtics. I'm weak. And I see you somewhere along the road, somewhere playing golf. Even though he dropped 63, we stepped all in his ass, did we not? I risked yeah. my case. <laughs> Hey, man, that's going to do it, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Larry or Michael. Hey, bro, this was a good video. I really had fun with it. Hey, man, y'all need to show y'all love. Do what y'all do. Do what y'all do best. I'm back on my grind. Let me know what y'all want to see. Please leave some video ideas down below. What should y'all watch? What should y'all see? What should we do? Follow my Instagram. It's in the bio. It's in the uh, YouTube description. You feel me? Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's get it. 10K subs on the way. Let's do it. Fuck it.